Hi, I'm Mackenzie Mills, and I'm an associate product manager here at Blue Marble Geographics. Today, I'm here to answer the question, how can I calculate volumes in Global Mapper Mobile? So for those of you who aren't aware, Global Mapper Mobile is a partner app to Global Mapper Desktop. It's available on iOS and Android, and it's for field data collection, um, and a little bit of light analysis, general data viewing and reference in the field. So one of the newer tool improvements in Global Mapper Mobile is calculating volumes through a few different methods. So here in this map file that I have open in Global Mapper Mobile, I have three polygons outlined. I have a pi two piles and one pit. So I can turn off the imagery in this map through the control center to view the elevation data that I have in the map. Um, elevation data is necessary for a volume calculation because that is what this volume calculation is going to be based on. Now, the first method I'm going to show for volume calculation in Global Mapper Mobile is using a polygon for a pile with a flat base elevation that we'll have to manually enter in order to perform the calculation. In order to determine what that flat base volume is going to be, I've just used the raster information tool to tap on a few different pixels to get that volume or get that elevation number. And then I can open the volume tool from the toolbox in Global Mapper Mobile. I'll choose the first option for volume calculation, enter my base elevation, and click OK to get my volume calculation result. Here I have a cut volume, a fill volume, a net volume, which is the combination of the cut and fill volumes, and then an enclosed area for the polygon. The cut volume is the more important volume number here. Since we're measuring a pile, it's as if we flattened out the elevation within that polygon, how much would be cut away. So the next method for volume calculation in Global Mapper that I will do will be for our other pile. It's going to start in a very similar way. I've used the digitizer to select that pile polygon. And I'm going to choose the third option in our volume calculation options accessed from the toolbox in Global Mapper Mobile. This is a pile volume where we're going to sample the terrain elevation from the terrain grid all around the boundary of that polygon in order to then calculate the volume here. Again, we get that small volume calculation report. So the third polygon I'm going to use here is for a pit volume. This is not just for piles, it's for pits. We're doing a cut and fill volume here. And I've zoomed out and enabled the imagery just so we can have a little additional context for this larger polygon. Now, for this method, we're going to use the per vertex elevations for this larger polygon. I can use the digitizer to explore this feature and view all the vertex information, seeing that we have an X, Y, and elevation or Z value for each vertice. Next, with that polygon still selected, I will open the volume tool and I can view the vertex elevations after selecting that middle method for a cut and fill, fall, cut and fill volume using the vertex elevations. Um, I can see how they vary a little bit throughout the polygon. And then I'll just tap OK to calculate the volume for this larger area. Since we're looking at a pit in this case, instead of a pile, we're going to have a larger fill volume and overall a negative net volume since we're filling in an area in order to flatten to that um, polygon boundary based on the underlying elevation layer. So volume calculation gives you a lot of different options in Global Mapper Mobile for some quick field measurements. Again, this tool relies on having a polygon or area feature that has been um, saved in the map or that was created in the field, um, some elevation data loaded for that area, um, and then accessing that volume tool from the toolbox menu. If you want to know more about volume calculations in Global Mapper Mobile Pro, visit our website at bluemarblegeo.com. And if you have any questions, reach out to our technical support team, geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thank you so much for watching.